Hey guys, what's going on? I'm John Malecki. In this video, we pay honor to Greg Klassen, the king of river tables, and we build this beautiful table for a local Pittsburgh client. Check it out. So I begin this project with breaking down the rough slab into manageable parts using my beam saw. Move on to flattening the parts. Because I do not have a large enough CNC or a planer, I use my router jig. I have a one and a half inch flattening bit in the router and I simply run it over the surface taking shallow passes until the one side is flat. I flip it over and repeat on the other side. I get all the parts that I missed with my number five hand plane. So what I'm doing here is laying out the outline for the glass insert. I position the slabs to where I want them to be in the final table and I use a long nose marker about one inch from the live edge to trace out the template. Then I simply convert the template to a large sheet of paper that I bought at my local Kinko's. Then I transfer the template to a piece of quarter inch Luon so that I can take it to the glass company and they can cut the perfect outline. Sand the table down to 120 grit to eliminate any lines left from the flattening process. Then I move on to trimming the table down to final dimension using a combination of my beam saw, track saw, and a good old fashioned hand saw. I then clean up the live edge with my brush sander and finish it off with a little bit of TLC and some hand sanding. Now that the slab's all ready to roll, I move on to the base. I cut all the rough metal stock to dimension using an assortment of different saws. You see here I've got my brand new geared head band saw, and then I move on to my standard carbide tipped metal cutting saw. Once everything's all cut, I lay it out and get it all tacked together. Once it's all lined up, I finish weld all the seams and then I cut a plate for the top to mount to. 
I clean all the welds up and then I get the base over to the powder coater. Now that I have the actual glass, I use that to create an outline stencil to get the perfect fit for the router. What I'll use is a quarter inch templating bit around the edge of the glass itself in order to cut the grooves. I only use this stencil for the fingered part because I cannot use the edge in that situation. So what I use is the void in the template in order to create the area that the finger will sit into. Note that I would highly suggest if using tempered glass to be very, very careful if you're going to use the glass as your router template. This technique can and will scratch the glass. I had to learn this one the hard way and eat a solid chunk of my profits by having to take the glass back to the glass company in order for them to fix it. So I'm once again using Rubio Monocoat for this application. It is literally as simple as mixing up the finish and spreading it on. This product has quickly become one of my favorites for hardwood finishes and as you can see it really does bring out the amazing beauty and color in this gorgeous piece of walnut. I spread it on using a squeegee and wipe it off with a rag and then I spread it on all of the live edge using the same rag. I mount the table using some countersunk threads fit in with epoxy and then this bad boy is ready to go home. So thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. This build was a blast. This is by far the most beautiful thing that I have ever built, that we have ever built, and we are so pumped to have it in this home. I want to send a big shout out to Jet Industrial for hooking it up with the bandsaw for this build. Gave me the opportunity to make some really clean and beautiful miter cuts on this table base. Lastly, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. I um, really do appreciate all of you following along. If you've been watching me on Instagram, you've been seeing the evolution of this table for a long time now, and it was a blast to get to this point. If you want to see a full write-up, check out my blog at johnmalecki.com. I'll have more beauty shots and a lot of the details that go into how I built this table. So you can check that out there. And one more time, thank you for tuning in, and I will see you on the next video. I'm gonna love you, babe. Cross my heart, hope to die.